I gotta go back, back, back to school again. Oh, oh, I gotta go back to school again. Hey guys, welcome back to Heather Together. Today I'm sporting my Wicked Smart t-shirt because I'm talking about all things back to school. I'm going to be giving you four tips that I use to make back to school time less stressful and more fun for everybody in my house. And hopefully they'll help you out as well. But before we get into that, let's all do the chant. Pencils, crayons, notebooks, a dollar! All the parents stand up and holler! It's back to school time! And you know what that means! Summer's over! Get your butt out of bed! So let's work together and get our poop in a group for back to school! So when crayons and pencils are at the forefront at Walmart, we all know what time it is. It's back to school and it's time to start thinking about supplies. So I always get my supplies early. That way I can organize them and I don't have to worry about things at the last minute in case the store runs out. Uh, one year where I live, we have a tax-free weekend. And so I went to that one year thinking that I would save a lot, but I actually only saved like $4 and it was a lot of hassle with all the people. And so I don't do that anymore. Now I just go early and I pay the little bit of tax just for peace of mind. But um, I will tell you that what I have learned is of course Walmart and Target have great supplies, but places like Dollar General and Family Dollar and Big Lots those places have a ton of supplies for great prices and there's usually not a huge crowd. So I like to go to those places. I'm in and out much quicker than at the super big box stores. But if you don't have those or you just love Walmart and Target, that's fine too because they do have great supplies and great, great prices. But let's talk about the supply list. These pencils. These are the Bentley of pencils, evidently. So I picked up these pencils, my little boy's supply list, just my little boy alone in second grade, he needed three packs of these, which is like 30 pencils. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, what is he doing? Practicing stenography, 30 pencils, that'll last him a lifetime. But anyway, I got these and the best thing for school supplies is the trusty label maker, which I got mine on Black Friday for a good deal. Just to let you know, they're always on sale on Black Friday if you can wait, but if not, pick one up. So I make little bitty labels for these pencils because I go to his classroom all the time. There's pencils on the floor and the kids are like, whose is this? I don't know, I don't know. So I make a little bitty label with his name and my daughter's name and put it at the very top of the pencil. And that way they'll never wonder whose pencil is which. But I also use my label maker for their notebooks, for the inside of their backpack. It's just a really, really handy tool to have in your house to keep things organized and looking neat. Next is the first day of school. So let's talk about everybody that has their cute little signs on the porch. So I'm one of them. I love to have my kids hold up a sign, but I'll show you what I do to keep it easy. I picked up a two pack of these, which they're just chalkboard pieces from Hobby Lobby. They came in a pack of two. And I made a little template that I use every year. I just change the info that I need to change. So like right now, I don't know their teachers yet. So once I do, I'll add that in. But I put which grade it is, the class that they're gonna graduate with, the date they start, their favorite color, favorite things to do, what they wanna be when they grow up. And so I just keep these and I'm able to erase the things that I need to erase each year, but I put them away and that way I'm not scrambling to make a little sign for them each year like I want to. So I just, I have my templates, I keep them put away and I drag them out on the first day. And I use these chalk eraser markers that I picked up in all different colors and it's super easy to use and makes life a breeze on that first day. Also, I'll show you what I did. This is a, such a cute idea that I saw on Pinterest. But I made these t-shirts for my kids. So I did 
the size that I think they will be whenever they graduate from high school. And I had them wear this on the first day of kindergarten. I take a picture of them each year and as they grow, of course, it will fit them better and better. And whenever they get that actual year that they're graduating t-shirt, it'll be really cute to look back and see how small they were. And even if you can get a great pick side by side or the little kid like looking up and the graduating senior looking down, that would be a great little memory to have for your memory book. So I have one for each of them and I use those on the first day of school just over their clothes that they're wearing. I take a quick pick. So um, let me share with you also about personalizing things. This is my third tip for back to school. So I know what my kids like just as you do I'm sure but I take their folders and try to personalize it. So my little boy loves tigers. My little girl is obsessed with bunnies. So I made these with my crickets, which I love my crickets, but I just cut out things that I know they like and I put them on their folders to personalize it because kids love that. So maybe you don't have a cricket or a silhouette, you can't cut out vinyl, but you can put some stickers or put their name on it, get some letter stickers just to personalize it because it makes them feel special and it really sticks out that these are their items and this is what they enjoy about life. So it's just a fun way to make things personal for them. And last thing I do for back to school time, you may not be in a grade yet um, where homework is a big deal. And so I want to keep my kids busy at home, not just doing technology, but I want to help their brains as well. So I don't have a lot of homework yet in first and second grade, but I picked up these great resources. I got these actually at Walmart, which is just math basics and fractions, addition, subtraction. And I have them do these just to get used to having homework because eventually they will. And it's also just to teach them that when I come home, I do my work and get a snack and then I can relax. So I want to teach them how to begin the process of doing homework after school because I know it's coming. So I hope you guys have had a great summer. We have at our house and I don't know if they're ready for back to school, but we are definitely ready at least for back to school. So I hope you guys have a great year and I wish you success with your kiddos and watch the next video where we'll tackle another topic on keeping it all together. And please subscribe and thanks for watching.